a die is rolled once, what is the probability of getting a 4? Now, we all know na yung isang die has 6 faces. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ito yung mga numbers na makikita natin sa bawat face ng isang die. So, the probability of getting a 4 is 1 out of 6. Or, pwede natin siyang isulat in symbols as P or the probability of getting a 4 is equal to 1 over 6. So, paano nga ba natin makukuha yung probability ng isang object? Let us now discuss probability of simple events. So, what is a simple event? Simple events are the events where one experiment happens at a time and it will be having a single outcome. So, isang experiment lang yung i-consider natin sa isang simple event. So, in a finite sample S, sample space S, where each outcome are equally probable, the probability of an event E, denoted by P of E, is given by P of event is equal to the number of favorable outcome to an event E all over total number of possible outcomes. So, ito yung hahanapin natin ng mga numbers. So, we can write this one in symbols as P of E is equal to N of E all over N of S. So, I have here some example of a simple events. So, first, we have rolling at 3 on a die. So, isang experiment lang yung gagawin natin dito, which is to roll a die. So, this is an example of a simple event. You can also have drawing the ace of hearts from a deck of cards. Or, getting ahead and tossing a fair coin. So, itong tatlong ito, signifies simple events. So, tossing a coin, rolling a die, randomly choosing a ball from a box or drawing card from a standard deck of cards, which have well-defined results, are called experiments. So, para mas maliwanag, experiment is a process or investigation from which results are observed or recorded. So, ito yung activity na gagawin natin. Ito yung tawag sa kanya, experiment. Yung outcome naman is yung result ng ating experiment. And ang sample space is the set of possible outcomes in the experiment. And an event is a subset of a sample space. Now, let's have example. Getting all heads in tossing two coins. So, ano yung magiging experiment natin dito? So, yung experiment natin dito would be tossing two coins. So, ano kayo yung mga possible outcomes natin? Pwede na yung outcome is head-head, head-tail, tail-tail, or tail-head. So, ito yung mga outcomes natin. Pag pinagsama natin silang lahat, then we can form the sample space. Sa sample space, kompleto lahat ng outcomes. Okay? Then, ang event naman natin, ano yung gusto natin makuha? Tossing two coins na dapat all heads yung makuha natin. So, yung event na favorable sa atin would be head-head. Okay? Or getting all heads. Ito yung event na gusto natin makuha. And next example, we have rolling a die and getting an even number. So, ano yung magiging experiment? We have rolling a die. So, ito yung activity na gagawin natin. So, as we all know, Sa isang die, we have 6 faces. Kaya yung outcomes natin could possibly be number 1, number 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So, collectively, kung isulat natin sila all in all, we can have our sample space. Now, make sure yung sample space natin ay nakasulat na separated by commas and at the same time, may curly braces sa kanilang magkabilang dulo. Kasi nga, this is a set. Okay, yung event naman natin is a subset. Ano yung gusto nating makuha? That is getting an even number. So, out of the six numbers, we have 2, 4, 6 as the even numbers. Now, before we solve problems involving simple or probability of simple events, let's take note of the following. First, a probability of zero means that an event is impossible. So, kung zero yung probability natin, ibig sabihin nito, hindi talaga mangyayari yung particular na event. Pero, 
Pag 1 naman yung probability natin, it means that an event is certain to happen or sure tayo na mangyayari talaga siya. And lastly, the closer a probability is to 1, the more it is likely to happen. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung range namang sagot natin dito is from 0 to 1 only. Now, let's solve some problems. So, this is one type of uh, simple event. So, we're going to get the probability of simple events. Kyle works at a local music store. The store receives a shipment of new CDs of various genres in a box. In the shipment, there are 4 rock CDs, 11 hip-hop CDs, and 9 pop CDs. What is the probability that the first CD Kyle chooses from the box will be rock? Okay. So, kailangan muna nating i-remember yung formula natin. The probability of an event is equal to the number of favorable outcome to an event E all over the total number of possible outcomes. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung ilalagay natin sa taas, ito yung number of events natin or favorable outcome. Yung sa denominator naman natin, ilalagay natin yung total number of possible outcomes or the sample space. Kasi alam natin, sa sample space, kompleto lahat yung possible outcomes. Okay. So, pwede na siyang isulat ng ganito. You can rewrite yung word na event. Pwede nyo gawing choosing rock or pwede nyo gawing letter R. So, depende niya yan sa inyo. So, we're going to get the P of R that would be equal to N of R. R means rock or choosing the rock CD all over N of S. So, yung first question natin is how many rock CDs are there? So, we have four rock CDs. So, itong four, ito yung favorable outcome natin. So, ito yung magiging event natin. Ito yung ilalagay natin sa numerator. Next question, how many CDs could Kyle choose from? So, ibig sabihin, ilang CDs all in all. So, we're going to add the CDs. We have 4 rock, 11 hip-hop, and 9 pop CDs. So, that would be 4 plus 11. That is equal to 15. 15 plus 9. That would be equal to 24. So, we have 24. Ibig sabihin nito, ang 24 would be our sample space. Ito yung ilalagay natin sa denominator later on. So, finally, the final question is, what is the probability that Kyle will choose a rock CD first? So, ito yung symbol natin or ito yung formula natin. P of R is equal to N of R all over N of S. So, yung N of R natin or yung pagpili ng rock would be 4. And yung sample space naman natin would be 24. Now, make sure na yung final answer natin should be written in lowest form. So, ano yung pwede natin ma-divide kay 4 and 24? Para ma-simplify sila. So, it would be 4. 4 yung common factor nila. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. So, our final answer is 1 over 6. So, yung answer natin could be fraction or pwede rin natin siyang isulat into decimal. Next example, a fair die is rolled. What is the probability of getting a factor of 6? Now, we all know na yung sample space natin, we have 6 spaces. So, we have 1 to 6. We have 6 uh, elements sa uh, sample space natin. Then, yung favorable outcome naman natin would be 1, 2, 3, and 6. So, ito yung mga factors ni 6, right? So, we have 4. So, probability of an event is equal to N of E all over N of S. So, factor of 6 yung kukunin natin. So, yung factor of 6, we have 4. Then, yung sample space naman natin, we have 6. So, the answer is 4 over 6. And we still have to simplify this one. So, divide natin yung numerator and denominator by 2. So, we will have 2 thirds. So, the final answer is equal to 2 thirds. Last example, we have a playing card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. Find the probability of drawing a queen. So, as we all know, sa isang standard deck of cards, we have 52 cards. Ito na yung magiging sample space natin. Ito yung ilalagay natin sa denominator. At ilan naman yung queen sa isang standard deck of cards? We have four queens. We have queen of spade, 
diamonds, clubs, and hearts. So, using yung formula natin, pwede natin palitan si E with Q kasi queen yung inahanap natin. So, yung event natin would be 4. Yung sample space naman natin would be 52. Then, we still need to get the lowest term of this one. So, divide natin yung numerator at saka yung denominator by 4. So, the lowest term or the final answer would be 1 over 13. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.